Hey guys, finally the video on accuracy of uh, slugs made with uh, MP molds mold uh, version 2. So if you watched my previous video and uh, I know that a lot of you have because I've been getting some really good response and uh, quite a lot of demand. Um, you probably noticed that I mentioned three options in terms of uh, uh, slug size. Uh, one of them was is kind of a specific uh, to be best for Huban, and that is the 5.54 millimeter diameter of the front bands, um, and there is uh, 5.52, which is kind of a standard uh, standard air gun dimension, uh, and uh, the 25 caliber, uh, which is. Uh, uh, 6.35 millimeters in diameter. Now I just want to clarify some things. Uh, these dimensions that I give is actually the dimension of the front three rings. The rear ring is slightly bigger because uh, the front three ring, uh, uh, rings only cut a little bit into the lens and don't touch the grooves and the rear one also touch the grooves in order to make a seal. This is also one of the reason why <coughs> these uh, slugs are dedicated for also for air gun barrels that can be also choked not necessarily but they also work well in choked barrels which is also Huben's uh, barrel barrel so Huben has also choked barrel uh, so <coughs> I've been doing a little <coughs> sorry I've been uh, doing a lot of tests lately uh, with version 1 as well as version 2 in version 1 I currently have uh, the barrel that is uh, uh, being also sold by Royale, so this is my custom barrel. And in version 2 is stock, everything as it is from version 2 on. I believe now it's also already version 4. There are some minor changes, but in general the barrel is the same in the magazine. So. Um, uh, the tests are like this, uh, if you have uh, Huben K1 version 1 with custom barrel, definitely 5.54 is the choice uh, to use. If you have uh, version 2 or any version that has a choked barrel, uh, so version 1 on, or version 2 with the stock barrels, then you can select both of them work about the same. I really didn't notice any difference, so you can select either 5.52 or 5.54. Four. and uh, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because some of you maybe want to use these uh, slugs also in other air guns that uh, make sh may actually require the smaller dimension size of the slug and in that case if you have version 2 you can get just one mold so 5.52 and have it for all of them uh, now uh, I did mention quite a bit uh, regarding uh, how how, um, not difficult, but you have to really pay attention on how you make these slugs in order to make them good quality. So you have to have appropriate temperature of the lead, appropriate uh, mixture of the lead, which is, in my case, best is 1 to 10 ratio uh, linotype to lead. Um, <clears throat> that works best for me. You can make them even harder for Huben. Huben likes hard uh, slugs, so hard alloy. Uh, and you really have to have the correct temperature of the mold, uh, correct speed. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I know that a lot of guys, of uh, a lot of guys that are watching this channel, are already casting their bullets, and I know that they are probably uh, you are probably more uh, into it and better experts in this than I am. But uh, uh, in my findings, it's it is slightly different to cast this small slugs than it is to cast like 9 millimeter or 30 caliber caliber slugs which have a ba way bigger weight and therefore are less sensitive to uh, techniques on how you uh, do the casting so this is just a warning so uh, in this video this is a part one i will be showing you uh, the accuracy with my slugs uh, in 22 caliber so these are, will be the 5.54 um, and the reason is because uh, um, when I cast, I, I, I'm learning at the same time 
and these are the only ones that I really cast like perfectly like they should be it's not hard they are not selected they are just uh, so some of them are even uh, have a defect and uh, if I see it before I put it in gun and throw it away or something like that if uh, not then it may be a flyer it may be even uh, flying still uh, well but uh, they uh, they are working very very well and I'm getting accuracy about one to one and a half MOA so this is slightly better than I expected slightly better than I previously announced I was saying about two MOA uh, and now it turns out they got better I have a few recordings for you prepared with the version 1 with version 2 with version 1 I did it uh, when it was raining so you had like really extreme weather it's like wind and I'm still hitting the 5 centimeters all the time and even most of the time the 2.5 centimeters circle at uh, 100 meters so that's uh, uh, one inch at uh, 110 yards because my range is about 102 meters that's about one, uh, 110 yards um, another thing that I do uh, do on the two uh, so the pellets the slugs that are 5.54 uh, dimension is I still run them through the sizing die uh, which is uh, 0.223 inches or 5.66 I think uh, millimeters so the, the the sizing die that I offered with the first version of the mold this is not necessary it doesn't improve accuracy at all it's only because the newer magazines are slightly tighter yeah, they have those grooves and everything and also the rear uh, side which is without groove seems to be a little smaller and if I don't do that then every every let's say fifth or sixth seventh pellet it's hard to push it in I it's still easy enough to push it in so you can use your fingers so you don't need any tool to push it in fully but it's still a little harder to push it in so just to avoid that I just go through the sizing die of course that uh, sizing uh, only uh, reduces the size of the rear ring or the rear band um, because front uh, bands are smaller anyway so it doesn't even touch them but uh, it's slightly easier to load that's it uh, so that's it enjoy the video yeah maybe one more thing um, so I design those uh, slugs of course they are based on Hubens as I mentioned I designed them 25 and uh, 22 both versions but I'm not the person that manufactures those molds so uh, the manufacturer is MP Molds, as you may know from my previous videos. And uh, although uh, MP Molds and me, uh, they, we are cooperating great. So there is one guy behind MP Molds, which uh, his name is Miha. Uh, but it is up to him, him when he will make those molds and ship them out. So uh, as I mentioned in the video, when I released the second version of the mold. Uh, there is a group buy which you have a link for in the previous video I will put it also in this one below and over there you uh, say if you want to buy it or which caliber and every, everything else you want to mention you will you can mention in that thread uh, and uh, when Miha is ready uh, I know that there is definitely enough orders already that he should already uh, produce the first series and ship them out he will write to every one of you and uh, ask you to pay I believe he has PayPal or something like that or, and uh, uh, free shipping um, he will give you all the information you need and he will send those modes to you now this is not up to me it's up to him when this will happen so uh, you can address uh, questions regarding when to him uh, he has a contact uh, in his webpage, but uh, any other technical aspect you can ask also me of course I will answer everything except for the delivery time which is not up to me as I mentioned so uh, So let me show you uh, close up how these slugs look Okay, so 
these are the slugs. Hoping this is in focus. So, as I mentioned already in the first video, one of the most important thing is, things is that you got a well a well casted slug. So this means that these uh, uh, four bands, so there are three in the front. F front first one is actually part of the ogle life of the shape of the slug. But the second and third are the smaller one and the last one is slightly bigger to touch those uh, lands in the barrel. Um, and very very important you see that this edge of the bow tail is sharp that means that the temperatures were correct in order to fully f fill the mold when you cast it so this is kind of what the perfect slug looks like also one of the reasons why I'm not showing you the 25 caliber uh, pellets yet is because I'm kind of hoping that uh, uh, Huben K1 in 25 will be out soon. I believe that in US it already is and I'm kind of hoping that I will be able to show uh, the, those pellets on 25 K1 25 caliber K1 so that's also one of the reasons. So uh, thank you for watching guys enjoy the rest of the video and uh, see you next time uh, I will be uh, making the video for the 25 caliber as well later on. Thanks, guys. Huben K1 version 2. <coughs> My slugs. So these are made by casting with empty molds, new mold. <coughs> this is the 5.54 uh, equivalent. So let's try it. A little too low. Better. Ah, flyer. Too bad. Let's continue in that group. Perfect. Kuban K1 version 1 with uh, MP mold slugs. These are the second version. Let's try it. is on my way but I'm not sure maybe the bullet goes over it so let's try it anyway so we'll go for the five centimeter okay. okay very thick it goes over it
so that kind of confirms the more than so better accuracy than two MOA five centimeters and at hundred and two meters that's almost 1.5 MOA I could could go for the smaller one but I cannot see it because of that branch I have really have to take that branch down and do this again Okay, let's try to treat, hit some smaller targets with K1 version 1 with my slugs. So this is the version 2 of the empty mold. And it's already raining of course. A little bit low, but quite good. Better to the right. Okay, so I aim to the up and to the left because I noticed that the left shot was down and right. So let's do one more. That's pretty good. So let's do a couple of more. This is easy. Yeah, the wind is picking up. I can see on the rain. It's moving from left to right. My camera seems to be under the... Uh, in the... Not on the rain yet, but... Wow, okay, not possible to shoot at that target anymore because of the tree. Oh, let's hit one more. Yeah, got it! <laughs> that is fun. Okay, wind is picking up. Let's try one more. Let's try the smallest one. Yeah, just braised it. Now the branch is on the way. In the way. Got it! Perfect. Okay, it's starting to rain on me. Let's do a few more. Got it, perfect. So that's 2.5 centimeters at 102 meters. Okay, put that to the left. Let's try the bigger one. Got it. Empty. And let's pack up because this tree is not going to hold the rain anymore. Camera is still dry. Here is the K1. The slugs. These are unsorted. So just uh, as they come, came out, out of the mold. And over there are the targets. 